Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy. In this video, I wanna show you how to do drum replacement and layering with samples and the Impact XT instrument in Studio One 4. I know this is a little different than my typical Logic tutorials, so don't worry, those aren't going anywhere. But I found that drum replacement in Studio One is super easy, like way easier than any other DAW I've ever worked with without using any third-party plugins. Speaking of Studio One, I have a few Studio One tutorial courses over at macprovideo.com and ask.video, a quick start guide, recording and editing MIDI, and recording and editing audio. I'm also currently working on a mixing course as well as a mastering course. You can check these out in the links in the video description below. All right, so let's get right into this. Drum replacement without any third-party plugins is way easier in Studio One than any other DAW I've used. My drums are sounding pretty good, but I still want to beef up the kick drum and the snare drum. Let's give this a listen as is. So I'll click on the Q button up here, which shows my quantization options, and then I'll click on the groove button over here. And then I'll drag and drop my entire kick in audio region into the groove pattern area, and it'll detect all of the transients in that waveform. Now, not all of these transient markers are kick drum hits. Some of them are bleed from other instruments like the toms and the snare drum. So I'll click here to open up my audio bend options, and you can adjust your threshold, which adjusts the sensitivity of the transient detection. So I'll roll this down so I'm mostly just getting kick drum transients detected. Now this is never gonna be perfect. You kinda have to roll it down and find a sweet spot where you're getting all of the kick drums detected, but you're taking out mostly everything in the analysis that's not a kick drum. After toying around with the threshold and finding a happy medium, you can click and drag this back into the groove pattern area again for a new groove analysis. Then I'll create a new track, I'll press T, and I'll create an instrument track, I'll just call this Kick Plus. I'm gonna create a new instrument, and the instrument I'm gonna to assign to this is the impact instrument. Now you can use third-party drum instruments like Battery here. Uh, I also like to use Drumminator a lot, but if you don't have third-party drum instruments, you can just use Impact. Next, you can just click and drag the groove pattern directly onto your new instrument track, and what it'll do is it'll convert each of the transients in the transient analysis into a MIDI note that has a default pitch of C3. So I'm gonna use each of these MIDI notes to trigger the playback of a kick drum. Next, I'll just click on the instrument icon on the track header to open up the impact instrument window. And one thing you can do is you can choose a preset from up here, but most of the kits in impact are electronic kits. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to drag and drop in my own sample from my finder window here, right on C1. Now you can go crazy with this if you want. You can create multiple velocity layers, you can use alternating samples, a round robin group, and you can really make this a really believable acoustic kick sample using multiple samples at different velocities and different strokes. I'm just gonna use one because I'm going to layer it underneath the original kick track. It's not gonna be out there in full volume. So here's what this sounds like. Note that it does put the starting note on C3 in the MIDI editor. So what I'll do is select all, hold shift and press down twice to drop this down two octaves to C1. So let's give this a listen. Note there's still two problems here. One, the sample doesn't seem to be perfectly aligned with each kick hit. It seems to be slightly behind and I'm getting sort of like a flammy sound. And two, I'm getting some kicks triggered on the snare. So first, let's correct the alignment issue. For some reason, Studio One puts the MIDI note just ever so slightly behind the front end of the transient. So what I'll do is trim off the front end of the MIDI region where it's not being used, so I have some extra wiggle room at the front, and then I'll just nudge the MIDI region forward to align it with the audio transient. And also off screen, I went through and deleted any notes that were not kick hits. So believe it or not, there were quite a few snare hits that were triggering MIDI notes. 
and they were erroneous notes. So I just went through with the eraser tool and deleted them in the MIDI editor. So here's what the kit sounds like with the kick drum reinforced with a nice punchy kick sample. Off screen, I also did this to the snare as well. So that's drum replacement in Studio One. It's really quick and really easy to do without any third-party plugins. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.